So this is it. All of this stuff came from Harbor Freight. This is Meguiar's mirror glaze. It has a little scale on the left side here. So at the bottom, light cut all the way up to 12. But this one goes to 12, not 11. This one goes to 12. <laughs> Some of you fans of Spinal Tap might know that one. So anyway, this is um, cheap drill. It's got a cheap attachment. I believe this is a 90 degree attachment. <clears throat> and this foam pad is Velcro, sticks on this. This actually came off of a, uh, let's see, this piece here. This is also a Harbor Freight piece. It's a three inch pneumatic polisher. I have a small compressor. So it uses a lot of air and the compressor's loud and all that stuff. So I've found that using the drill and this foam pad works really just as well uh, with the, the polish. This is, um, again, nothing fancy. It's Meguiar's Ultra Cut Compound. Take it to 12. So I'll show you the headlight. <clears throat> this, uh, the passenger side really is not horrible. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, fading at the top. Oddly, the driver's side is a little worse. Not bad, but you can still see it's a little hazy. So I'll show you. I've got to set, set everything up here, and then I'll show you what I do. All right, you ready? So basically what I do is just take the foam pad. I'm going to put a little bit of compound on there. <clears throat> you want to hold hold this part like this, and I'm just going to spread this around. It's probably not enough, but we'll start there and just uh, let it rip. All right, so you saw how long that took. <clears throat> Didn't take long. Let's take a microfiber. Looks like I missed a spot through here. You can already tell the big difference. This spot up here is going away. You can still see a line through here. So I'll do it again. Add a little bit more. Here we go. So this little spot's a little tough. It's kind of not wanting to go away so easily, but you may, <clears throat> you 
may be able to tell that it is getting clearer. So I'm gonna pause this a second, maybe turn the camera around so you can see some of this. All right, so off camera, I went back over this so you didn't have to watch 30 minutes of a drill. But as you can tell, if you go back to the start of the video or the start of the part where I showed you the headlight, <clears throat> you can definitely tell that it's clearer. And that line is kind of through here. That's a tough spot. So it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, it does look tremendously better. It's definitely clearer. It's not perfect, but you know, you didn't buy a new set of headlights either. So, and this is stuff that you can buy. I mean, you may already have some of this stuff. This polish, you can use it for <clears throat> your paint, obviously. Um, then you can polish your headlights. So you're not buying a, a kit. You know, you can buy a headlight polishing kit, but it's really not necessary unless your headlights are just really bad. And if they're really bad, you just need to replace them. But if they're not bad, you can polish them and not buy new headlights. So <clears throat> I'll show you this one again. I'm gonna end this here. So you have an image of what this looks like now. And when I start the next portion of the video, I'll start in the same spot so you can see the difference. All right, guys. So you should be able to see a difference. I'm not gonna lie, this one was tough. Just like the shampoo bottle, lather, rinse, repeat. I think I went over this five times. <clears throat> so this is, uh, this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Be patient. If you gotta do it five times, if you gotta do it eight times, do it. It's worth it. So I could probably do one more, maybe get it a little bit better, but looks pretty dang good. All right, so that's gonna wrap this one up. I hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, consider subscribing, give me a like. Uh, hopefully I didn't reduce your IQ points uh, by watching this video. So anyway, uh, word of caution. It didn't happen tonight, but I have seen this, this disc. If you do buy one of these, this little disc has a hard edge. So if you've never done this before, I would recommend getting some of that blue painter's tape or something like that that's gonna come off easy. Tape off around your headlights because <clears throat> this will dig into your paint. I have, I have seen that before. So anyway, I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.